John, there's been a steady flow of people come through since the gates opened at about one o'clock this afternoon. I'm told about 480 people have come through the Hall of Honor so far today. These Chiefs fans are here to remember the life and legacy of Len Dawson. Even after his death, Len Dawson is uniting this community. Chiefs fans of all ages line up to walk through the Hall of Honor to pay their respects. I wanted to pay honor to him one last time. Bill Croson watched Dawson lead the Chiefs to our first Super Bowl. A few years ago, Croson met his favorite player and got his jersey signed. Oh, he's just a gentleman. Just like he knew you all was alive, you know. Was, everybody was special to him. Fans were able to sit in the stadium and watch Dawson's legacy on the big board. JJ is reminded of the time he met Dawson at training camp. He was warm. I mean, he has a warm personality. He just uh, makes you feel connected like uh, a friend. He's a great guy. Carol says you didn't need to meet him to feel like you knew him. She respects the work he did in the community. Then all of his philanthropic work. Uh, you know, helping kids get educations that wouldn't otherwise get one. A superstar in football and on the sports desk. Lloyd Cooper Jr. was part of some of Dawson's favorite moments. I was in the newsroom with Lynn Dawson. In 1990, Cooper was picked to be a guest sportscaster. Dawson coached him in front of the camera. Bobby Bell, number 78, came over and hit him head on. And went bam, it sounded like a car wreck. Showing him the ropes and his rings. He showed me his Super Bowl rings. I held his Super Bowl ring and his MVP ring. I held them in my hand. I had them on my fingers. Fans appreciate the opportunity to remember, reflect, and celebrate the man who had an enormous impact on the Chiefs and Kansas City. Well, I'll always remember him. Now it takes about 30 minutes to walk through the Hall of Honor. Some fans are soaking it all in, taking closer to an hour. There's still a lot of time to come on down to Arrowhead. The Chiefs will have it open until 9 o'clock tonight. And if you do decide to come on down, remember the clear bag rule is in effect. Christelle.